This is one of the houses in a remote Yemeni village damaged by a failed U.S. rescue attempt. In a compound like this one, two hostages, American Luke Summers and South African Pierre Corky, were being held. U.S. officials say the hostages were shot by their captors, but Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula accuses U.S. forces of killing them. People in Al-Matla village say only two of those killed were associated with Al-Qaeda. One of them was this man's son. Mubarak Al-Harid says most of the villages weren't aware of any foreigners being kept there. They say all they saw were helicopters in the distance and thinking it was an attack, they fought back. Harid says he lost four sons that night who were only fighting to protect their homes. We demand state retribution for those who came to kill our elders, sons and children suddenly without informing us. Anger's been brewing for months after U.S. drone attacks targeting suspected Al-Qaeda fighters have reportedly killed civilians. And the failed rescue raid did not help. We condemn and denounce all acts of terrorism, whether from Al-Qaeda operatives or U.S. Marines or anybody whatsoever. Who gave them the right to violate honor and commit such a barbaric act? No justification can ever be given in any way, shape or form. U.S. officials say they decided to go in because the life of Summers, an American journalist, was in danger. But the non-governmental organization negotiating on behalf of Corky, the South African aid worker, says the raid happened just before he was due to be released. Civilians in Almatla village say they were only protecting their property and land, and now they're calling for answers and justice. Osama bin Javid, Al Jazeera.